you are planning to appear for fang interviews you have to prepare for data structures and algorithms companies like microsoft amazon is definitely around lead code easy to lead code easy medium in worst case lead code medium once you join companies like uh, amazon or let's say microsoft the systems that are already built are so complex and so huge that your understanding of these highly scaled systems and deep complex systems should be as good as possible with which they want to actually judge the candidate on multiple levels right i have some pointers in my mind that i would like to share with my broader audience so i was recently talking to a student and the first question that they asked was uh, how to get into a fang and then i started retrospecting and realized that having interviewed at four of the fangs and clearing three of them i have some pointers in my mind that i would like to share with my broader audience right this video is not about luring you guys that okay fang is the only place where actual cutting edge work is being done the best of the packages are being given it's not like that it's just that it's a set of companies which are really highly valued and have a very structured way of hiring people right and the amount of technology and the amount of knowledge that people possess there is definitely pretty good and it's a pretty good jump in your career as well so it's not about luring you guys into fang it's just about sharing my experience that how exactly one can prepare and have a mindset to start thinking about preparing for interviews at fang right so it's not like if you will work at startups you are not going to get the best pay it's not like that in india there are startups which are paying really high and the work there is absolutely cutting edge there is so much growth there but definitely a lot of people do actually aspire to work at fang of course there are a lot of benefits the stock options are great and the overall tech and engineering culture is also pretty great so in this video i'll talk about what are some of the important things that i believe everybody should try to do and start doing if they are willing to actually start interviewing at fang and probably clear the interviews as well so without any further ado let's just start but before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing because we are going to put some really awesome content coming up ahead on this channel regarding tech and your career in tech also do check out the channel of algo camp because we have put some really awesome content regarding data structures and algorithms absolutely for free on that youtube channel so let's just start so before we start this particular video i wanted to actually talk about a very small thing so this video is going to actually help you understand a real system design interview scenario we are going to try to mimic a 45 to 60 minute kind of like a round where we are going to solve a problem very similar to how you will solve a similar system design problem in this short time frame now of course when you work as a software engineer in a company you have relatively larger amount of time and you can do a lot of more deep dives in even very small level features but in an interview the temperament is different the approach is different and a similar scenario is actually explained in this particular video so do consume the content based on that also if you want to see more deep dives and want to understand these topics in a much more deeper level concepts then do check out the link in the description section below for our system design 2.0 cohort where we have talked about a lot more concepts in a lot more detail which will make you definitely a better software engineer so let's just start the video now see this is kind of like a no brainer and there is no point on fighting around this if you are planning to appear for fang interviews you have to prepare for data structures and algorithms whether you are preparing for internships sd1 sd2 sd3 or beyond roles in every profile there will be either online coding test or at least one to two coding rounds where you have to showcase your skills that you are able to solve a problem and code a working solution for it in companies like google microsoft Amazon Apple this is a very fundamental round and kind of like a lot of people are actually rejected in these online coding test of data structures and algorithms or the initial screening rounds as well so you need to make sure that you prepare for these screening rounds as good as possible and it's not like it will take you competitive programming to actually clear these rounds 
to be very honest the level of companies like microsoft amazon is definitely around lead code easy to lead code easy medium in worst case lead code medium right so if you are preparing through lead code you are technically absolutely in the good direction you just need to make sure that you think about the problem all the way around you think about complexity analysis you think about writing good and clean code and you are able to approach the problem in a very good way this is going to help you understand the problem and clear these data sources and algorithms around also make sure that you try to give some lead code contest because online coding tests are still the first and the biggest barrier for a lot of people in actually start giving your interviews so make sure you definitely try do that now except the l3 and l4 that is the sd1 and sd2 role at google all the other major fangs for at least sd2 and beyond roles are going to ask you system design questions now if you see major uh, majority of them are going to ask you high level design but some of them like apple and amazon are also going to ask you low level design questions these questions are not going to be like out of the box questions or like absolutely new problem statement but they are going to actually evaluate you not in the fact on the newness of the question but on the fact of the depth of the solution that you are going to propose whether you understand the fact that not every solution needs to be rightly scaled for let's say a billion people or a billion traffic all together from day zero they want to actually see whether you are able to um, i would say clear the basic functional requirement first then you jump onto the non functional requirements or not they want to actually see whether the calculation estimations are do you are doing it's not just there for numbers but you are actually deriving some conclusions out of it and putting them into your design i've made a dedicated video on how to prepare for system system design rounds do check that out but i would say prepare for these rounds as well as possible because for roles around sg2 and beyond these rounds are the major um i would say um uh, evaluation criteria a lot of people do get rejected if they are not able to perform on a exceed expectation level in these design rounds because once you join companies like uh, amazon or let's say microsoft the systems that are already built are so complex and so huge that your understanding of these highly scaled systems and deep complex systems should be as good as possible so this is the definitely the second most important criteria you have to keep in mind now i don't know about majority of the people uh who are actually listening to this video know this fact or not but for fang the leadership round the googliness round specifically for let's say google or the leadership principles that are actually asked in amazon rounds these behavioral questions are extremely important they can not just down level you on the particular level but also can be a cause of rejection in a lot of people don't take these rounds seriously and let's say if you are interviewing for startups at least what i have noticed this can be absolutely my opinion but startups do not have a like a make or break criteria criteria for these rounds if you have performed exceptionally well in your coding rounds in your design rounds then there is a good chance even if you fumble a bit on the behavioral rounds you are, you will be absolutely okay but there is a good chance if you have exceeded the expectations in coding rounds in design rounds in fang but you fumbled a bit on behavioral round then it can cause a down leveling for you or maybe even a rejection it has even happened with me multiple cases so do not take behavioral questions or behavioral rounds too lightly see the past questions what kind of scenario you have and try to have a star methodology to actually answer your situations and have actual situations don't try to just make up situation because people are able to very easily nowadays identify what kind of story you are making up and these situations will only come once you have some experience try to get some experience in startups during your internship days or in your early working career so that you are able to showcase those experiences and how you learned what you learned from those experiences in these behavioral questions right there are a lot of end to end articles where all of the behavioral questions or the majority of the behavioral questions of these famous fang companies are there so do check them out and start structuring your questions even your hrs are going to tell you that take this round very seriously now trust me on this in fang looking at the past interview questions that are very easily available on lead code discuss section is going to help you a lot you check lead code discuss section you check blind you check glass door where you will find a lot of questions that have been asked in the recent past and make sure you prepare according to that right because 
it's not like in most of the fan companies they have a thought process in mind they have a question bank in mind with which they want to actually judge the candidate on multiple levels right so practicing on that particular set of questions which are already asked to people is definitely a good idea you may not get the same question but at least you will get the temperament you will at least get the criteria and ideas of evaluation from those particular set of questions this is something that not a lot of people do and even if they do they just read the question i would say upsell them try to solve those question and see where you actually stand this is going to increase your chances a lot now there are some of my uh, i would say own opinions that i would like to share with you there have been situations where uh, what i realized was the difficulty level of the rounds in fang was let's say lesser than some other companies for example i interviewed for sprinkler and i interviewed for linkedin during my uh, college days sprinkler's interviews were way more tougher right it's not like um, the overall interview uh, criteria or the difficulty of interview is let's say slightly less in fang it's not that it's just that even on that difficulty level people are actually looking for candidates who are like 100 on 100 there is not a lot of scope of uh, i would say making errors this is something that you have to first of all keep in mind second it's not like if you don't get into fang you don't have a great career ahead trust me on this i have so many people and some of the best mentors that i got who didn't start with fang and they were actually making extremely huge impact in startups which are now very big companies nowadays right and then eventually they landed up fang when they thought that okay the opportunity that they are getting the team that they are getting is really really good so make sure that you also get ample amount of experiences in startups mid size startups so mid size companies companies of different other domains as well and then you also gain experience from there because all of this together is going to make your career all together i don't want to say that okay fang should be the dream for everybody but this video was only for one thought that i have worked with a couple of them and i can see that not everybody is happy with fang right that's not the case for everybody but if you're somebody who is actually looking for at least getting some experience or getting your hands dirty with all the code bases and the interesting technology that these companies possess then this should be your thought process in order to clear the interviews so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below whether you were able to get some ideas on how exactly and what are some of the most important things that you need to do in order to clear fang it's not to be very honest rocket science it just needs some really good preparation and being right on point and being um, i would say rightly dedicated towards the final goal that being said let's wrap this particular video here we are going to meet soon in the next set of videos till then take care bye bye i am sanket singh signing off